Hello and welcome back to day 15 of the Frisian Experience Christmas Countdown. So this is the penultimate last horse of the countdown because after tomorrow, which will be Iniker, is the last one of our guys that you've got to meet. We're then moving on to introducing ourselves, the team, and then for the last two days we'll give you a tour of the facilities and do some kind of unique video on Christmas Day. But today I will be introducing our newest sanctuary resident, who is of course Little Nero. So I haven't actually spent that much time with him because he's only been here, what? It's got to be under two months, I think, two months max. Um, so I don't know him quite as well as I know the others. We've still got a lot of, you know, getting to know him to do. Um, but it is always nice getting to know a horse's character and their personality because when Nero still first arrived, like a lot of them, they can either be one extreme or the other, they can be quite pushy because they're nervous or the other extreme is they're quite quiet because they're nervous. So Nero was quite quiet because uh, he was a bit anxious when he first got here, a bit nervous. But now, now his personality is coming out and he is, he's a beautiful, beautiful little horse and he's such a cheeky, bright persona, which is why his new colour is of course Rainbow because little Nero is our resident Rainbow because he arrived here under rainbows and much like rainbows, he's, he's a very bright, happy character. So here at the moment, because he's only five, he's only a baby, Nero, he doesn't quite have the attention span or the manners that the others do yet, but I noticed that. I'm currently in our local market town, Kendall, which is about 20 minutes away from the farm. Um, but I was just editing it in a cafe because I'm on the way to go and see one of my friends. And it occurred to me that I keep on pronouncing Nero's name Nero. We, it is actually pronounced Nero, that's just how I say it. So I'm just clearing that up for everyone. Bye. That'll come in time. Because if you notice, as you've noticed with all of the others, they've just come here and stood here quite quietly. Whereas him at the moment, he's trying to push over me a little bit. He's looking around. Um, but that's just the nature of youngsters. And it's, it's a good sign, really. It shows intelligence. It shows he's happy um, because he's inquisitive. He's curious. He's into everything like even human babies are, aren't you? Because you are only a baby. Thank you. Thank you. But he is, he's a really, really lovely boy, definitely. And he is definitely a resident rainbow. For those of you that don't know his backstory, he's just arrived here on our sanctuary scheme. Thank you, Nero. Thank you. He's just arrived here on our sanctuary scheme. And he is only five. Um, and his um, almost rescue, if you like, was, was a little bit challenging. Are you going to come here, gorgeous? Are you going to stand still and show yourself to everybody? Yeah? Good boy. Um, his his rescue was a little, little um, challenging because we had a few issues with. Hey, so there he's trying to use me as a stretching post, which is disrespectful. But I just had to send him back there because he was just trying to plow into me and over the top of me, and that was very disrespectful. Um, and licking and chewing there, that means he's getting it because he has to learn that he just needs to stand here and even if he is going to try and make a break for it, he can't just go whoosh over the top of me. You've got to learn to be patient, which will come with time. So as I've already said many times, I don't really know what to say about this little guy. I'm still very much getting to know his personality and his character. Or we can say he's cheeky, he's lovable, he's a kind horse, he's very playful. Um, and he just adores people and attention, like most Frisians, really. So it's going to be really exciting getting to know him, his groundwork journey with Tracy as he develops in his training. But due to his issues, he's got a bit of arthritis. So now he's being silly because he knows he knows that he can hear he can hear hooves in the distance because his friends are going out to the field. And he can't see them, actually, which is why he's being silly, because he's like, where are my friends gone? But this is another thing that he needs to learn, is that even when the horses are moving around and he can't necessarily see his friends, he needs to learn that still just to stand still and be patient. And it's all about doing this kind of stuff with him. It's him learning how to manage his own body in stressful situations, because normally... You know, his friend's going, it's a bit of a stressor because obviously horses being herd animals and going back to 
Do you know more primal times, their primal instincts would be, oh my God, I need to panic because all my friends are leaving me. Because obviously in the wild, if their friends had left them and they'd been separated from the herd, that, that would be, you know, massive red flag for survival. Whereas he doesn't need to worry about that in a modern day domestic environment. So we need to teach him, instead of seeing that red flag straight away and feeling the need to panic, we need to teach him to redirect his, his kind of, um, it's teaching him how to kind of redirect his ability to manage stress in his body and allow him to assess oh okay it's actually okay that they've gone because i've got a person here i know this person and i'm safe with them and they're my leader now not not the rest of the boys out in the herd so here he's resisting a little bit he's trying to set his neck against me So, after a few minor altercations, because he is only a baby, he is back. But I'm actually going to film this down at the tie-ups today, just to finish off. So, because Nero is of course a baby, his advent went a little bit differently. It ended up more into a, a learning session towards the end, but to, to stop I'm to blame for that, aren't I? Well, no, it's, it's these little things you forget, you know, ordinarily with any of the others, you could take their friends away and they might call a little bit or be a bit unsettled in the beginning, but then they'd settle back down. But because you put Nero's friends out into the field and left him all alone. I know, I did it, it was, deliberately just to yeah. make your filming difficult. So now... <laughs> no, I didn't, Hoff. <laughs> so yeah, now he's, now he's back here. Um, and towards the end, he was good because all I wanted him to do was listen to me and relax, go away from the gate um and just get his his energy levels back down which he did well um and towards the end as well i just stood in the open gateway with him because another important thing they have to learn is of being respectful around gateways even when it's open and they want to go out they still have to learn to stand quietly in it but here's tracy with him now um and, th and this is his happy place at, yeah at now it's become he feels secure he knows what goes on here whereas of course in the arena he's thinking okay what am i going to be doing yeah and it's just working through the whole process of getting him to be happy in all sorts of different environments and that just takes time and you do forget when you haven't had a baby for so long it's like i thought oh i've forgotten what these are like <laughs> like yeah because i think you just take all of the others for granted but it's not even necessarily just being a baby it's being it's being in a new environment mm. And this is where horses of any age can get unsettled in a new environment. Yeah. And, and it's down to us to teach them. More back, managing themselves in a new place. Yeah, so it, it's down to a horse of any age mm. learning how to manage their behaviour and how they react in a new environment. Absolutely. And at the moment, he, he doesn't know no. that. And so. I think, you know, the thing is, going back to even an older horse in a new environment, they settle down quicker because they have the tools and the understanding there. But the reason why he's slightly challenging at the moment is because A, he's in a new environment, but B, because he's only five and hasn't necessarily been taught these things before. Yeah, he's not got the yeah. life experience there. Or the tools to, to manage himself. So that's what he's having to be taught at the moment. But underneath that, he's a very, very sweet, intelligent horse. He's just learning learning about life what he can and can't and get away with and learning you can't how to... get away with nipping my shoulder no that is not on the teeth are not allowed to come out no you can lick you can be like speh and you can uh, lick sorry no we can't there's only oh yeah Shoot. there is only one speh. yeah and, and in fact I, I don't know whether you can fit this into the video we did debate over whether yeah. he should have the rainbow head color because speh has always been those those br bright colors she has you know she, she i used to want her to be resident rainbow but now it's had to be nero i know but uh, as, as we said before he's a very colorful character and he arrived under a rainbow you sh and, and we saved you from rainbow bridge yeah. We did, yeah. I, I mentioned that actually, how, how he had was threatened to be shot. Mm. It was rather an interesting scenario, but all that matters is he's safe and sound now and nobody's going to shoot him. No, exactly. So, no. so you get to see another Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely so thank you very much for joining us for today's episode albeit a bit different and thank you for letting me on in on one of your yeah. advent, advent well you're videos. gonna have to be on one anyway because because one's one you get your own episode after yeah i'm horses. scared of that are you i'm really scared of that i might take the day off sick <laughs> oh i can't take the day off sick. sorry you live on site <laughs> oh 
sad day. Yeah, but we're going to get Nero back out to his friends that he's been so dearly missing. And, yeah, throw a few of the others out. Happy Christmas. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>